Hi! Want to try super challenging workout that will take you to the highest levels of your fitness performance, help you use 100% of your energy and leave you with a feeling of accomplishment and pride while being gentle to your joints and spine? You found the perfect one for yourself. 20 seconds of extreme challenge followed by 10 seconds of active recovery, 4 reps of each just enough to feel the muscle burn, heart rate up high, lymphatic massage going on, but not too much to get bored with each exercise. Get your aqua weights ready and let's begin. I love water. I love the sound of it. And I love being near the water. Or on the water. But most of all, I enjoy being in the water and working out and convincing you to work out with me. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Find me on Facebook. Are you ready for another great workout? I hope you are. Let's do it. All right, my friends, let's begin with some warm-up exercise. Couple minutes, jog it out, lift up those knees, and just push those dumbbells out and in. Light and easy tempo, big smile. We about to do something pretty cool today. I promise you're gonna love it and circle those arms backwards just like that above the water yes pretty small and dynamic moves warming up those arms shoulders back muscles and we continue high knees jogging as we are turning around And reverse you're gonna now move your arms forward and you're gonna turn around the other way stay nice and tall belly in chest up make sure those shoulders stay down and away from your ears looking good keep on going smile is still on <laughs> now start pushing those dumbbells down suitcase press light and easy be gentle we are just waking up <laughs> warming up getting ready and now you can go ahead and start jumping up and down knee tucks jump with suitcase press so you want to make sure you move your feet off the bottom as those dumbbells go down modification would be curling one knee up at a time you want to turn around go ahead all right another exercise where those arms will travel above the water we're gonna move one up, one down with high knees. The bigger range of motion, the better. You really wanna feel that your back muscles are doing something right there. It's okay if you take it to low impact and just curl one knee up at a time. And overhead press, up and down, yes. If you need to modify, you can do the same movement below your shoulder level. Just be pushing your dumbbells forward and then pinching elbows backwards. So that would be another option. And again, pushing those dumbbells out to the side. Symmetrical moves, both arms do the same thing. All right, everybody, round one. Let's begin. You got aqua sprint with suitcase press. We got 20 seconds of extremely fast tempo followed by only 10 seconds of active recovery i need you be extremely fast okay it's 100 percent of your energy because it's only 20 seconds go fast legs and arms do it do it do it do it if you ever heard about tabata workouts this will kind of remind you tabata 
good recover a little bit and you can do anything during recovery you can just move all right but make sure it's something easy because guess what here's again 20 seconds aqua sprint with suitcase press push it fast 20 seconds is very short period of time but if you are giving all your energy it is enough and remember we only gonna repeat each move four times today keep going a little bit faster match me or go faster than i go i know you can do better than this come on press 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 you want to feel the hard way up the first rounds are all cardio all cardio every single one then it's gonna be different yes final seconds and your recovery again slow it down make sure you give those arms a little break take a deep breath into the nose exhale and go it's your 20 seconds again back in the game as you are doing it answer yourself a question is this is 100 percent of what i can do or are you holding back if you are holding back you picked the wrong workout. This is where we are giving away 100% of our best. 10 seconds recovery. Breath in and out, relax, relax, and go. We are doing it again, 20 seconds in. Push, 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 push. I got no mercy for you with this workout but I promise you're gonna feel so happy you did it. I look forward to your comments. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. 10 seconds recovery. And you know what's gonna happen next? I bet you do. You will be sprinting again. Do it. And as always, guys, I want to give you a couple modifications so you can, of course, jog instead of sprint if that's going to, you know, make this workout better for you. Or again, turn up the tempo. Here we go. Another round, another 20 seconds for challenge. Recover. Touch the breath, loosen up your shoulders. I like to always move my hands above the surface to give them a little break. And that's how you know you're ready for the next exercise. This time side to side kicks with cross. Again, 20 seconds in, 10 seconds recovered. This time just four times. We're gonna repeat this exercise. So you're gonna start doing your best immediately. Here we go. Your cross always goes in the opposite direction that your kick. Now, could you punch with both arms? Well, absolutely. If that's what you want to do, you can try both arms and just punch to the right, to the left. 10 seconds for a quick recovery. Good, and we're going to keep going. Make sure level of this kick is appropriate. You want to feel that glute contraction. And each kick is identical, right? Each actually repetition, each segment is the same. So tempo-wise and also range of motion-wise, right? 10 seconds is for you to recover, catch the breath, do something different instead, and getting ready. Here we go kick and cross these short intervals may seem like too short first but trust me guys when you complete the entire workout you're gonna know what I mean and again this only makes sense if you do 100% 10 seconds smile relax recover you're gonna be ready for another one here we go. Push it. Exhale with each kick. Use your core strength. Use your back muscles to quickly transition from one side to another one.
very cool guys third repetition cross country skiing with push forward 20 seconds in 10 seconds recovery 10 reps cross country again super small leg moves super fast arm transitions front and back here we go push and pull push and pull using chest and back muscles Make sure you stay in line. There is zero rotation. 10 seconds to recover. Relax. Jog it out a little bit. Don't feel bad that you are stopping those exercises for a moment, okay? Trust me, it makes sense. Here we go. Cross country. Because another way you could pick, you could continue doing this exercise, right? And forget about the intervals. But there's no way that you can do 100% for such a long time. So if you guys are gonna choose skip recovery and you're gonna continue exercise, well, you're gonna get different benefits. And here we want the maximum energy to be used. We wanna create that oxygen depth. That's gonna be paid off for the next hours. Go. When you know you are creating oxygen depth, guys, it is when you are out of breath for a quick moment. Not for entire 20 seconds, but a couple seconds out of it. And if you get there frequently during the full workout, oh boy, you're gonna take a nap this afternoon. <laughs> or you're gonna sleep very well at night, one or another. Again, 20 seconds in a zone, cardio zone, challenging zone. Are you feeling it? Is your heart beating like crazy? I hope it is. We are slowly finishing up this exercise and round four alternate back kicks with front push 20 seconds in 10 seconds for quick recovery here you can jump over just make sure you don't over arch your lumbar spine so i would suggest keep those kicks a little bit lower somewhere above knee level maybe hip level but you notice i'm leaning forward just a tiny bit as i exhale I push dumbbells forward, they right below the surface. Ten seconds for quick recovery. You may straight up for a moment, change the position. And again, take a breath in. You're gonna resume your back kicks. Here we go. This is pretty important here that we control our breath. Very, very common that people do back kicks with lips closed. And for that reason, your breathing will not be right because you have to exhale out through your mind. 10 seconds recovery. Again, you can jog it out, right? You don't need to stop. I don't want you to stop. I need you to keep moving. Just do something else. Get ready, go. Watch your arms, make sure both are doing the same exercise. You wanna kind of shoot those dumbbells forward in a straight line every time. And pull back. Keep your belly in. 10 seconds, recovery. Jog it out. And back kicks on your exhale, as you already know. Great exercise for postural muscles, so glutes, but also core and chest. Ten seconds, recovery. Take a breath in. And this is gonna be the final repetition for our back kicks.
and we are done with this segment as well so waving bye bye to this particular exercise moving on aqua sprint we'll be pushing dumbbells forward then we're gonna open up arms out in and then you're gonna pull them back towards yourself so back to sprinting pretty fast exercise our back kicks were a little bit less intensive which is fine it was still cardio but here once more you want to move the hard way up to higher level so legs are moving way way faster than arms 10 seconds for recovery I always like to take my dumbbells up for the 10 seconds of recovery and then I know I'm gonna do better when they are below the surface once more. Here we go. Probably one of my best and favorite ways to sprint because this really works back muscles and we all need strong back muscles, healthy spine. Yes, that's a big one for me. recover jog it out just keep on moving you don't stop take a breath in on your exhale start over here in Illinois we have summer super sunny so <laughs> Sunglasses could be useful for outdoors workout, for sure. They are as much needed as dumbbells, I'll tell you that. 10 seconds for recovery. And we're gonna do it again. How's that? Go, go, go. targeting back muscles. Make sure you drag those dumbbells fast enough so you can feel it. And also use dumbbells that gives you opportunity to feel it, right? You need to feel those muscles are tired. 10 seconds recovery. And guess what's next? Are you keeping track? Yeah, that's gonna be our last and final repetition, aqua sprint. Keep going, keep going. Remember, dumbbells are below the surface. They're just, just below, but below. up those legs final seconds sprinting in the water really is a joy all right cross so finally strength 20 seconds in and 10 seconds for recover strength my dear so yes we still want to move fast but most importantly you need to feel like you really are engaging all those muscles right your core your legs and finally your upper body to push it through 10 seconds for recovery just catch a breath and resume your cross now as recovery you can continue your cross here just go a little bit slower okay and then once the segment 20 of 20 seconds start over put drag it again as fast as you can Dumbbells can be a little bit deeper. Our legs are bent. We are rotating through knees. Take a breath in on your exhale cross, right? Your cross always should go with exhale. One heel will always be above the ground. Don't lock those feet. Don't lock your knees. They move along with you. It's a great one for upper body, but also for upper legs. 
catch that breath and on your exhale resume your cross palms facing down and neutral wrist that's also pretty important and quite often after 20 seconds in you will like to put your hands up above the surface for a moment that's fine moving on guys here's front kick touchdown we'll begin with left kick 20 seconds arms open and close so working chest and back muscles vertical position we have not done this position yet 10 seconds for recovery and you can jog it out we're gonna now continue same like open arms and close and open again be very aggressive here okay this is a strength segment the higher you're gonna kick the better it is it's a good dynamic stretch yeah you can keep that back kick suspended if you want 10 seconds recover take a deep breath in get ready into the position and we're gonna resume kicks just on the other side now. Here we go. Vertical position. Which is a little bit more challenging also for our wrist, but that's a quick segment as you know. Recover. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And go ahead, switch leg. Love it. Moving on, lat pull down, 20 seconds in. 10 seconds recover we're also going to focus on strength so feet hip width apart very stable you're going to start with dumbbells in a horizontal position then you're going to drag them down towards your hips in a straight line it's actually a diagonal line but you want to make sure that you don't let those dumbbells kind of bounce to the side you want that line downwards oh that feels good we feel our abs yes Catch a breath, roll those shoulders, maybe shake it a little bit, and go. Lat pull down. Again, keep the rest of your body super, super stable. Almost like nothing was happening. Even if I know you feel that every single inch of your body is so tight and engaged right now. That's exactly what I need you to feel. 10 seconds loosen up those muscles again shake it shake it shake it because trust me you're gonna do better if you give your muscles a chance to relax start over here we go make sure you don't rise up your shoulders lift up your chin shoulders back and down don't swing those hips front and back or sideways they stable they square with your shoulders Oh boy, this is hard. Relax a little bit. You got one more. Keep moving, keep moving. Jog it out, jog it out, right? It's a stable exercise, but then you need to move when it's recover. Here we go. Dragging it down. Love it. Remember I was laughing in all the photos that you took. Moving on, my dear, swing kick. So cardio again, 20 seconds in, 10 seconds recovery, where we're gonna jog and relax. Now just push dumbbells out, but focus on your legs. You know swing kicks, they super intensive, let them be, here we go. Keep your toes pointed, go fast, be unstoppable right now. 10 seconds, jog it out, keep on moving. Mm -hmm. 
and start our wet. Here we go. Good. Recovery. Jog it out. Take a deep breath and resume your swing kicks. Go. This exercise actually brings us to half of the workout, so we guys are almost halfway through, okay? Make sure you keep on going, maintain this great tempo. The first part is more challenging though. I would say more intensive, the challenge will come in many other forms, right? But there was way more cardio during the first 30 minutes. Here we go, swing kicks once more. Make sure you feel a little burn in those quads. Big muscle right there. This muscle, it's keeping your knee healthy, your knee joint. Do it, do it. Ten seconds to catch a breath again, jog, maybe do step touch, just keep moving. Remember, we don't stop, it's all active recovery, not a stop. And swing kicks, back in the house, we'll back in again. So much fun, you guys already know, this is probably my favorite exercise. <laughs> and doing it for 20 seconds, I feel I'm doing my best. Longer than that, I need to take a break. All right, moving on, number seven, roll over. Woo, core strength, 20 seconds without touching the ground. How's that? Okay, let's try. Do your best. I know, rollovers can be tricky. You can absolutely use a belt for this, aqua belt. Count how many you can squeeze in in, in 20 seconds. And then when it's recovered, I need you to touch the ground, jog it out, and then you're gonna start over, okay? So here's again, it's your choice. Whatever you want to do, to do another set of amazing fast rollovers. Three, two, one, go. Your feet are not touching the ground. Let's do it. I'll be honest with you, it's quite hard for me to do rollovers for more than 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, I kind of need to ground my feet for just a little bit and then start over. So I'm telling you, the recovery will come at the perfect spot right here. <laughs> 10 seconds and get ready. It only takes few. I don't know, you're just gonna touch that bottom and you kind of need to get ready for another round. Always make sure you move in line, okay? So you go straight forward, straight back, rolling over from your back to your belly. Such a good one for abs and postural muscles again. 10 seconds. Touch the ground, jog it out, fix your hair, do whatever it takes. So your rollovers are amazing. Again. The higher you can push your feet each way, the better. Right? Sometimes when you're just starting, you're gonna keep your feet very, very close to the bottom with your rollovers. But that's fine you're gonna get stronger and eventually you're really gonna feel like you are rolling over from your back to your belly recovery and we keep going go a little bit faster it's very easy to relax at the end of this round okay but that is why we have the 10 seconds to kind of reset everything, to, you know, put our attention where it belongs, to how we do this exercise. 
Next exercise, my dear, wide jogging, 20 seconds in, 10 seconds out, it's cardio again, and we need to set up our feet way wider with toes turned out, belly in, we are now alternating arms, one down, one up, here we go, go fast, fast, right and left, right and left, 20 seconds, how fast you can do it, to feel that this segment is very different from strength, you got 10 seconds, jog it out, take a breath in, on your exhale, go, you're starting over. Ten seconds recovery. Make sure you keep neutral wrist. Palms are facing back with this exercise. Here we go. One dumbbell down, one up. Try to lift up those knees a little bit higher and move your legs faster. Good, 10 seconds, recovery, slow it down. And you can continue while jogging, just make sure you take it easy for 10 seconds. Push it back in, here we go. Faster, 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 right and left. Pay attention to the range of motion. You still want your knees to really move all the way up. Such a great hip opener. Good, moving on. We're gonna have very stable position. This is strength again, circles out and later on in. But let's start with out movement first. And you can reverse after four or you can do every other round, either in or out. Your body's super, super stable, right? Leg a little bit wider. 10 seconds, again, just shake those shoulders, swing your hips, catch a breath, get back into the position, ready, and go. Resume your exercise. Getting stronger with every single move. Here we go. Notice those knees are slightly bent. Core extremely engaged. 10 seconds, recover. Keep on moving though, keep moving, get ready and go. So again, you decide how this round looks for you. You can go four out and four in, or you can alternate every other round, moving one way or another. Ten seconds. Shake those shoulders, swing your hips, smile, and you're gonna do it again. Let's go. So many muscles here working together for this movement. Make sure it's nice and big, nice and round. So different from everything else that we did today right we got lat pull down we were pushing them out now it's the circle motion <laughs> oh boy number 10 what's happening v on the wall 20 seconds super fast feet up feet down feet up feet down now i know you can do this one longer than 20 seconds but if i tell you you need to do it crazy fast only do it for 20 seconds and then jog it out for 10. Ready? Go. Make sure you really incorporate your arms to keep up this tempo, to stay in line to make each single jump identical to the previous one. 
Always exhaling once your feet are touching the wall. Jog it out. Take a deep breath in. Loosen up those abs. And get ready. Start over. Relax a little bit, jogging, deep breath in, get into the position and start over. Move very, very fast. For sure with this workout, there's no time to get bored, right? Exercise change so, so quickly. I think it's fun. And guys, moving on, next exercise, we're gonna do aqua jacks 20 seconds in. This is cardio, so we're gonna move really, really fast, okay? I don't want the jumping jacks where you, again, can sing along. I need power jacks, out and in and out and in, something you can only do for 20 seconds and you just feel like you need to take a break. That's the tempo I need you to develop in every single segment of 20. Jog it out. Give your arms a little break. Get into the position and resume your aqua jacks. Here we go. Try maintain pretty good range of motion, but your tempo is priority. Very important that your heels are touching the ground, right? So you roll your toes. 10 seconds recovery. Just to catch a breath, get into the position, ready, set, and go. Pushing those dumbbells down below hip level. Yes, that's where you're gonna feel your chest your arms, getting a good workout, getting the muscle tone. It doesn't come easy, guys. It needs to be uncomfortable. Fun, but uncomfortable. Start over your aqua jacks. Here we go. Here we go again. A little bit faster, a little bit faster. Really push yourself to the limits there. Love it. Number 12, front and back leg lifts. So this is more static exercise. You're gonna drag your leg front and back and front and back, keeping your other foot very stable on the bottom of the pole. We're of course gonna alternate legs. 20 seconds per leg. Keep your arms open, that's gonna help you balance, or you can place one hand on the side of the pole if that works better for you. Just another option. Yep, you're gonna switch leg. Make sure you breathe through it and keep your chest up, shoulders back and away from ears. Switching leg again, right? So we do 20 seconds on each side, then we're gonna switch leg. There's not much time for recovery just because this exercise is not that intensive. And really by switching leg, we are recovering on the other side. Switch leg. Your other leg stable, don't bounce up. Keep it grounded. 
keep your core extremely engaged. You're gonna switch leg. Look how small this lift is. You don't need to go all the way up to the surface. Probably knee level is all we want here. Switch leg, keep going. And make sure you also stay in line, right? So you're dragging your leg directly forward and backwards without letting it go sideways or so. Switch leg. Well done, everybody. Now, one minute, we're gonna continue lat pull down. And now this one is not a part of our intervals anymore. This is a non-stop segment, okay? So for one minute, I need you to do as many of very fast and challenging reps as you can. Keep going, keep strong core, keep those feet stable on the ground, right? The last minutes of the class will differ from everything we've done so far. So it's gonna be non-stop segments, one minute with this exercise, then we're gonna have two minutes and three for some other exercise. All right, so two minutes will be for wall scissors, non-stop challenge. You keep your hands on the side of the wall. You could do this uh, as a floating version with your dumbbells if you wish, but I think that once your hands are kind of grounded on a wall, you get a little bit more out of it. So that's my idea for this workout. We've done a lot of floating stuff already. And guys, here I wanna mention that the part two for this workout will come as quickly as this workout gets 100 likes. I need to see if you are enjoying such a, a quick transitions of exercise. And if you do, if it's gonna get a great feedback, then part two will come shortly. And it's also gonna be about 45 minute workout with a cool down and warm up. So I don't know if you even wish to put those two together, you absolutely could do that. Now those floating scissors, you can do touching the ground or you can make them floating. Or if you like both, you can alternate. You can do 10 with one toe touching the ground and the next 10 floating, which probably is my favorite way of doing scissors. I kind of like adding this particular exercise to every single routine of mine because it's so good for our posture. All right, time for another challenge. Three minutes for push-ups. And now you can absolutely do floating push-ups like I'm presenting right here, but you can also ground your toes on the bottom of the pool and be in a little bit of angled position if that's working for you better. Some of us will be sinking when, when we try to float in this position and you can try your best and sometimes it's just not gonna work. So again, you can either ground your toes and lean a little forward. You can do standing push-ups, right? Just extend one leg back and then switch after 90 seconds. So many, many versions, but those arms need to work fast, okay? So you don't wanna go like push down and up. You are pushing, pushing, pushing. Quite a bit of challenge here. For me, I'll be honest, I edited this video and I had to really uh, touch the ground so frequently, you just cannot see it. <laughs> I, I'm not so good at with those floating exercises. I'll, I'll tell you that, you see? And I've been doing this like 100 times <laughs> and just removing those segments so I look cool floating. <laughs> so you know what? Don't ever believe what you see on TV. <laughs> we are not as good as we pretend we are. 
there are some exercises that are really hard for me and you know I guess we all have our favorite ones but I always repeat that you need to do all of the exercise you you have to do the ones that you like and not those favorite ones as well because quite often those are the ones that we really need we just don't like them because we don't see we are doing great and you know all right how about if we now gonna move on to cool down and stretching so go ahead ride a bike on your back how cool is that we deserve a little treat you can move forward you can turn around super cool exercise And of course, you can reverse your leg moves, right? So you can kick forward, you can kick backwards eventually. Make sure it's the circle motion rather than just, you know, kicking up and down and bending your knees. You could absolutely do it floating on a noodle if that's easier for you. This one is somehow more challenging version. You could also put your back against the wall. But I like to float. Yeah, this really doesn't feel like a workout, right? Not at this point. <laughs> but look, it took us like 45 minutes to get here. So, you know, we guys deserve a little treat. Come on, let's absorb this vitamin D. Fresh air. Love it. And I'm gonna invite you for a quick cool down and stretching session now. So you're now gonna put your dumbbells aside. You're gonna relax and you're gonna keep your hands above the water for this rotation moves. All the muscles are warm up, so we are ready for a little bit of that. Keep your core engaged though to support that spine. And now you're gonna hold your arm to the side, drop your head down, good, next stretch, good, and now you're going to drop your head down like so, and your arms are crossed behind, if you can reach towards your elbows, fine, if not, open up your arms a little bit wider, nice, exhale, round up that spine, and inhale, open it up, exhale, round it up, scoop your chest in, open good be relaxed now okay don't contract any muscles we actually want the opposite relax and again rotation side to side and again you're going to gently pull your arm to the side lower that shoulder and then drop your head in the opposite direction As before, you're gonna split your, put your hands together behind, drop your head down and up. Good neck stretches. Good exercise to really maintain that neck curve that, you know, we have three curves in our spine and they're all important, all protecting us from high impact moves. Take a nice stretch to the side. That's a lunge position. Reach up. Right, so you do want to bend slightly to the side, but you focus on reaching up at the same moment. You're going to switch leg, put one behind, find your balance, and bend to the side. Good stretch. Great job, guys. Now, we're going to continue with a couple more stretching exercises just now. I need you to find a wall, okay, because we're going to... Do couple wall exercise. So first we're standing next to the wall with our feet together. You're gonna reach up with one arm and you're gonna again bend to the side. And then one leg squat. Placing one foot above the knee, that's a great one for hips, glutes. Yeah, just move your arms around, 
So those wrists take a break. You're gonna place your left foot, left leg up on a wall with toes pointed up. Give yourself a couple seconds here and then try reach towards your knee. If you can touch your knee, great. You don't wanna bend your knee to go farther in toward it, okay? As long as you feel a gentle stretch at the back of your leg, that's exactly the goal of this stretch, okay? It's not to touch those toes. Eventually, if you can, wonderful. But don't bend your knee, try keep your legs straight. And then you're gonna place your foot on a wall, bend your knee and push your hips toward the wall. Next, we have V position on the wall, both feet up. You're gonna hold the wall. And firstly, keep your hips exactly in between your feet. Drop your hips down. And then you're gonna shift your body weight to your left. One leg extended to the side, one leg bent, kind of like a side lunge. We just look like Spider-Man. All right, and again, put your feet together, extend your other hand all the way up, and then bend a little bit toward the wall, just a little bit, okay? So your spine will be slightly arched to the side. One leg squat, placing this time right toes on your knee, squatting down, pointing tailbone back and up, giving those wrists, yes, good massage. That feels really, really good. All right, facing the wall, you're placing your foot up on the wall with toes pointed up, taking a nice stretch up, and then reaching toward our knee. Remembering, we just need to feel a gentle stretch. We don't necessarily have to touch our toes. Good, and now you're gonna place your foot on the wall, Push your hips toward it. That's a good hip flexor stretch, right? Your left side now benefits from this stretch and that's exactly what we need. Good. And now go ahead, press your heels down a couple of times, like so. And guys, I really hope you enjoyed this workout. Please let me know in the comments if that was interesting, those very short transitions. I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer and think about what else I can put on my channel soon, okay? And you go ahead and rest up so you are ready for what's coming very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching and for splashing by. I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thank you, bye-bye.